Turn to the club and you know how we do Hand full of cash and a couple of brews So many women, so little time Gotta find a key to make her mind oh mine Turn to the club Hey guys, Chachi here. Uh, you know, it's that time of the week. Time to record a uh, another edition of Chachi Says, the vidcast. Cue the music. Uh, this week, because I, we mentioned this on the Awesome Cast a little bit, um, so it, it's not new news, and it's definitely not something that you don't know already. If you don't, then you haven't been paying attention to Twitter. And if you don't use Twitter, I'm not quite sure why you watch this. Um, because I'm pretty sure that's where all my viewers come from. <laughs> I love you guys. Um, but this week is a pretty exciting week for me. Um, if you didn't notice, uh, we got the Triforce Tattoo the Zelda t-shirt, the Zelda hat, that's right ladies and gentlemen, I would like to wish a very happy birthday to The Legend of Zelda that is now 25 years old, just a mere three years younger than I am, which makes me feel kind of old. Um, it, it's quite possibly my favorite video game of all time with, if I had to break it down, probably Super Mario Bros. 3 uh, as my two favorite games of all time, and Zelda wasn't the first game that I played, uh, but it was one of the first that I played. My dad always had video games in the house. Um, he, he started off with an Atari, like most people did. Uh, he had others. And then Nintendo came out. And he bought it. And had quite the collection that I wish I would have gotten my hands on, to be quite honest. Uh, however, so uh, it, it was always an influence. And it just goes to show that Zelda is one of those games that is multi-generation generational? yeah multi-generational if that's even a real word uh, because if you play video games now there's a 90 percent chance that you played The Legend of Zelda you've played it several times, you've beaten it several times hell, you probably even have it mastered and if you do my hat is off to you because I still don't have the game completely mastered uh, I've beaten both quests, both the regular quest and the quote-unquote second quest, the harder one that you wouldn't you put in Zelda's name as yours. It, it just shows because I often have conversations with people, uh, with my friends and new friends and new people I meet, about their parents sitting down to play Legend of Zelda, and that it was one of the video games that they liked the most. Uh, and we, we talk about the strategy that our parents used to play the game. Some people use graph paper, some people used regular paper, uh, basically to draw their version of the map layout, that way they knew where the hell they were going, because let's face it, the game, the game was amazing. Uh, it was one of the first games that allowed saving, it came with the battery back up in it, so then it saved your game, which made it wonderful at the time. It, it took away the uh, the whole password thing. Not completely. They didn't start moving on from that until later, but it, it was a huge help. Because if you would have had to put in a password or keep passwords for that, the game wouldn't have been as popular as it was. But... Uh, the one thing that was so difficult about the game was the fact that it didn't have an overlaying map. So you had to remember. You had to remember everything. 
uh, where where the castles were, uh, where the fairies were. And granted, after a while, you'll, you'll you get it down, and it's just like riding a bike, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those things that made the game so amazing. Uh, it introduced us to the first time of the legendary da battles between Link, uh, Link and Ganon. Uh, in introduced us to the princess that we would all fall in love with over and over and over again. Uh, princess Zelda, who is one of the toughest chicks and most helpless chicks of all time. It's kind of like Princess Peach. Uh, they keep getting abducted by the same person, expecting the same people to rescue them. I don't know. But, I mean, it's just one of those things. Uh, I still have my Nintendo hooked up. Zelda's not in it right now, because Super Mario Bros. 3 is. But, I mean, it, it's literally right there. You, know, you can't see here. Let me get closer. Right there, on my messy desk. But it is, it, it's always hooked up. Um, I played that just as much as I played everything else during Chachi Plays. So, uh, from here, from us at Chachi Plays, or Chachi Says, see, I'm still thinking about that. Uh, from, from us at Chachi Says, we wish you, Legend of Zelda, a very happy birthday. And may you continue to carry on as well as you've done so far. Uh, be sure to check us out at ChachiSays.net, uh, ChachiSays.blip.tv, and on the YouTubes at youtube.com slash says. And you can subscribe to us on iTunes. Be sure to check out all the rest of the Sorgatron Media stuff at uh, SorgatronMedia.com. Awesome cast, Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can always find me on the couch. Um, and if you haven't yet, go check out ChachiSays.net. And the new adventure I'm partaking in. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Basically, I, I received a book. So, 1,001 video games you must play before you die. And I plan to play all 1,001 of those video games. So, it should be a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, so check it out. Uh, thanks for tuning in again this week. And we'll see you next week. Nerd to the club and you know how we do Handful of cash and a couple of brews So many women, so little time Gotta find a key to make her mind oh mine Nerd to the club, yeah we do it all the time Watch the girls dancing, looking just fine You mean it's playing hot and you ain't gonna stop it Oh shit, shorty just dropped it Took a break from the games And my man man player two did the same Drinking and dancing, we're gonna do it right Looking for the next player, take home for the night No! <laughs>